this is your first time here hey girl welcome we done popped in here real quick me and morgie we are on our way to a screening that we were invited to for the color purple and we will be there in about 30 minutes look i'm on the juicy website all they stuff is seven dollars i know you want i'm so serious this says 77.72 and now it's seven dollars and 72 cents wow and this stuff is normally a hundred dollars this day hoodie the og hoodie it says sale ends in six hours and 36 minutes oh wow that's fun mm -hmm. oh let me get over Ah! Y'all know California drivers don't be wanting to let you over. Let me over. But um, y'all know I always tell y'all I don't know how it's going to go. Um, I'm going to try to vlog because I don't want to have the camera all in people's face. I don't know if they are even going to allow cameras. So, um, I'm gonna do the best that I can. I'm gonna try to get what I can get, okay? And, um, yeah, we'll see y'all over there in about 30 minutes, okay? So we're getting ready to start the film. So if you guys can just put your um, uh, phones on silent um, and just be courteous to others. In addition, we have an amazing Q&A directly after with the director and the choreographer after the film. So if you guys remain seated and then once the film is complete, we'll go ahead and bring them out. But again, thank you guys so much for attending. We really hope you enjoy the film and we're super excited to have you guys here today. So thank you.
the director of The Color Purple, Mr. Clint Bazu Boule. Reporting live. It is hours later. We ended up going to IHOP to grab a quick bite to eat because for whatever reason I have been um craving pancakes. So that is exactly what I went up in there and got. And um we are on our way back to the house. Um y'all the color purple was so good i'm not gonna um spoil the movie y'all most definitely got to go and see it it was so nice it was really 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 nice it had a hint of the original but it was a lot of new stuff that they added i hope that ain't telling too much <laughs> But the movie was good. It was good. I guess that is it.
the Beverly Wilshire. We are leaving now, y'all. This is the Pretty Woman Hotel. This is where they shot Pretty Woman at, y'all. We come out here every on, year. We come out here every year to take our pictures. Mom. Why? Miss you. I've been asking. So many. I know. They want somebody to walk out there in the middle of the street. What are we going up in here? We are going around. Now we're walking down. Down. What What's is this? this? Rodeo Drive. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to show y'all the Christmas tree. Look, y'all. Oh, hey. hey. How cute. How cute. It is the hotter day season, y'all. Child, I done forgot where we parked at. Don't y'all be seeing this little statue on TV? When we first moved up here, before I moved up here, this is like the staple of LA. Rodeo Drive, Beverly Hills. This little naked person. when I first moved up here, I was like, girl, I know I didn't made in that baby because that go that little thing. Every time you see anything about Beverly Hills Rodeo Drive, if you're watching like Keeping Up With The Kardashians or anything that's being filmed in California, you have seen this little statue. Huh. On our way back to the car.
Hey y'all. I am biggity back back back. This sun is so bright and it is so hot outside. Uh how y'all doing? I'm on my way to pick up Morgan from school. She talking about can she go with her friend to five below because tomorrow is Christmas pajama day at school. I said, Morgan, how you getting there? My friend mama taking me. I said, what money do you have? Y'all, she ain't got a dime. Do y'all teenagers do this? Where are you going with no money? Sarah mama ain't called and told me nothing. So guess what I'm doing? On my way to go and get her. Because you ain't going nowhere. You ain't got no money. Y'all ain't told me nothing in advance. And you volunteering somebody else's parent services. Come on, I'm come on. You you come on. <laughs> come on. You going to the house. You going to the house. <clears throat> but um that go a couple of her little friends right there. She mad cause she can't go. I don't even care. Um, I'm off today. And um, I was catching up on my monthly word from one of my prophetic voices, Miss Dr. Alexis. Now, the last video I posted, I told y'all that I went to a singles mixer. And for those of y'all that don't know how the Lord be speaking, this is a perfect example of one of the ways that he speak. I was catching up on my monthly word today and she posted this video. I just saw it today. And I want y'all to see it. Watch this. Last night, I, two nights ago, I had a dream. And in the dream, I was with my friend, my best friend, and I was with two others who were, uh, they were younger, like 21 years old, my goddaughter, and then also um, a, a, a six-year-old. And we were talking about single events, and I said, girl, no more, it's time we don't do, we don't do the single events no more. It's about to change, we're about to do the manifestation events or the events where it says like the prophetic activation of the marriage like i'm a bride even though you're waiting to be a bride i said it's and then in the dream i said well those them they're gonna have to get out of the group because god is saying that he's creating a new group in other words there are people who are mature and who have been waiting and the people who are kind of the babes, you know, it's like, I'm not against you, but God's saying that these these other people who have sold their time and who have walked in their time concerning waiting for marriage, the Lord said, you know what? You're crossing over. So start proclaiming yourself as a bride, no longer as a single. That may mean that you don't go to single events anymore because you are a bride. That may mean that you are now changing your circle because you are a bride or you are a husband. I'm telling you, it is prophetic the way that we uh, that we acquire these things when we start seeing ourselves as we are, as God sees us. Girl, what? If you ain't seen that video, the very last video that I posted, it's titled Singles Mixer. And in that video, I said, I ain't got no business up in here because I know who my husband is. And then I turn around, she posted this video. The Lord said, uh-uh, baby. <laughs> the Lord said, uh-uh. He said, baby, uh-uh. You can't go. Yeah, 
all. I guess I won't be going to no more singles mixes. I knew it though. I knew when I was going that I didn't have no business up in there. But y'all, I be trying to be an adult. All I do is mom and work. That don't make no sense how he driving. And this is a school zone. Kids everywhere. That's crazy. Where is she at? I don't see her. I don't see her. Um, But I just be trying to be an adult. Any chance that I get to go outside, have a little wine, have a little appetizer, be in the company of men and women my age without children, I take full advantage every single time. Here she go, y'all. Well, stop snatching on my dough. And then we got to go to the store after this. Hmm. There she go, y'all. Say hey to the people. I told them you tried to go with Sarah and ain't got no money. Ain't told me nothing. are on our way to the store and back in the house i'm going in the house to make me some hot chocolate bench watch christmas movies and relax because i am back at work tomorrow and that's it so i will catch y'all in the next video